This lockdown touch therapy video has been made for you to use with the loved ones you find yourself locked down with. And what we want to achieve is the experience of the power of touch. So what we need to do first of all is create a nice comfortable environment for our lockdown buddy and position them on their back and proceed to begin with uh, some deep breathing techniques. Three breaths is sufficient in through the nose, out through the mouth and this will stimulate the lymphatic system. Moving then to the client's lower extremities, a series of compression and relaxation techniques, squeezing and releasing the tissue, and then repeating the same on the arms. Now please remember that the video is at an accelerated speed, so everything looks like it's happening very quickly. This stretch here uh, is in fact very slow and it stretches both hamstring and calf and the pull there at the end is very good to mobilize the hip joint. Do not exceed the client's uh, stretch tolerance. We move then to the arms and we do a first stretch up toward the ceiling and a second stretch parallel to the floor. I remind you, please, these are actually happening very, very slowly, gently mobilizing the joints. This next movement is to uh, relax the neck. So it's a neck flexion. And last but not least, we end the front of the body sequence with a gluteal stretch. So this will stretch out the buttocks, especially for those uh, kids who've been sitting for long periods of time or mommies and daddies sitting for long periods of time. Our guest then turns over and lies on the tummy and we repeat the compression and relaxation techniques on the back of the lower extremity. And we then also include some compression techniques on the back itself. Now here we have to be very meticulous and very careful. The pressure applied with the heel of the hand and the weight of our body needs to be on either side of the spine no pressure on the spine directly and uh, the walking action should be very very slow. This action here is going to stretch your quadricep muscle which is the front of your thigh and then this uh, arabesque type movement is going to stretch the anterior hip flexors. So attempt to get the heel to the buttock and then stretch out that hip joint. These movements on the arm once again help to improve the flexibility of the shoulder joint. We do each shoulder individually and then we do an action where we lift both shoulders simultaneously and gripping the wrists uh, even further extension of the back. End of your technique with some gentle scalp work. Uh, basically uh, a shampooing technique can be used. This is very relaxing and helps to relieve tension in the scalp. And then raking through the hair is also extremely relaxing. Finish off your treatment by repeating your deep breathing movements. And stroke over the body to end.